if your quads and hamstrings aren't moving well, aren't flexible, it puts a lot more stress through your hips and your low back. A couple different things that you can do. One of them is your real basic quad stretch where you pull your leg up behind you like this. When you do this from the sides way, you go here, get your knee behind you while you're doing this. You can feel it more in your hip flexors through this way, less so in your quads across there. One of the other ways you can do it is you can put your knee down, put your knee a little behind your heel, and then you're pulling your other hip forward like this. You can feel that stretch again through your quad, but also your hip flexors. If you activate your glutes a bit more and lean forward more, you can definitely feel it more in your hip flexors. Another way you can do it and do both your hip flexors mobility at the same time is laying on a firm surface, you know, gym mat, something like that doing what you might call an up dog yoga pose or cobra and that can stretch out both your hip flexors across the front uh, part of your body through here your hip flexor your quad hamstring mobility is also really important along with the strength there helps take some of the stresses off of your low back as well